But the beauty of those testimonies is that each and every single person in this room is here today, this day, at this time in history, to help be a part of the coalition of people in the United States of America that stop these things from happening. We're here at this time, on this date in history, to stop it from happening. Every single person in this room can stop it from happening. And you do it by helping elect people who will stand for life. It's unrealistic to think that we're going to outlaw abortion now. That's just not going to happen. But we can enact laws incrementally in this state and in the United States that will reduce the rate of abortion and hopefully someday make it not even a viable option. And I want to tell you a story that goes back about 20 months ago. I wasn't here, I was in Atlanta, Georgia, election night of 2008. And there was great celebration in downtown Atlanta, if you can imagine that. Uh, and I got to witness that. Uh, but there was greater celebration right here in Johnson County, Kansas, because we elected my state senator, Senator Mary Pilcher Cook, to the, uh, to the Kansas Senate. And I was told this secondhand, but I've never forgotten it that night. I wasn't here to witness that uh, joy. But, and I don't know if he's here today. Is Lance Kinzer here today? I didn't see him coming in. But as I understand it, Lance got on the elevator with Mary on their way down uh, at the Johnson County Victory Party for the Republicans. And Lance turned to Mary and said, let's go save some babies. And that's what they do every single day. saving babies, and we have the power to send them there. We fell one vote short last year of enacting more pro-life legislation. We have the opportunity to help elect Dave Harvey to the Kansas State Senate. In 2008, it's my fervent hope and I won't be here again for Election Day in November of 2010. I'll be at a trade show again this year. But it's my fervent hope that Senator-elect Todd Tehart calls Congresswoman-elect Patricia Leitner and says, let's go save some babies. Today, we have a generous donor in the room who's agreed to match our donations up to $5,000. So it'd be my fervent hope that we can greatly exceed that $5,000 threshold. That person will donate another $5,000 and we'll have truly a great day for KFL and for the future of our state of Kansas. This piece of paper here that Mary Kay alluded to that's being sent, mailed out cost a lot of money. Our answer to that is right here, this envelope. This envelope is on every table. So we, we're asking you today to get your checkbooks out and write a check to KFL. Now there's good news and bad news with that. Typically when you come to the Spring Bank, but those, those donations are tax deductible. These are not. However, there is, a, there is a, always a silver lining in the cloud, and that's called plastic. That's right. That Southwest Airlines Visa card or your, your rewards card, your American Airlines, whatever rewards card, you can also do that. Now, you've got to come to this table and see me in summer after the event in order to give on your credit card, but you can do that as well. So if you think the breakfast was worth $5, write us a check for $5. If you think it was worth $50, Write us a check for $50. If you think saving a baby is worth $500 or $5,000, that's even better yet because I don't know what a baby's worth, but it's worth more than I can write a check for today. So I'm going to write the biggest possible check 
on my card <laughs> that I possibly can to KFL PAC so we can elect all of these pro-life candidates in this room this fall. Thank you very much.